Hi, it's Steve. In this video, we'll talk about the six most common parts that may cause a symptom of a noisy microwave. We'll tell you what these parts do and where they're located, as well as how to troubleshoot them. One of the most common parts that may cause noise in your microwave could be the drive coupler. This part attaches to the drive motor and turns a turn tray. If the shaft on that coupler is damaged or cracked, it could cause a noise. So that's the first thing to do is pull that off and inspect that for any damage. Another common part that causes noise in a microwave could be a defective roller guide. The roller guide sits beneath your tray and this typically has three wheels on it that allow the tray to rotate easily. If there's any damage to these wheels or parts missing or if there's a crack in that roller guide, you will get some noise. It's pretty easy to inspect. Simply lift the tray out and carefully look over that roller guide. If it's defective, you simply replace it. Another common cause of noise in a microwave could be the drive motor. Drive motor is located in the bottom of the microwave cavity and is often only accessible by removing the cabinet. Look for any signs of physical damage and replace it if required. A least common cause of noise near your microwave could be related to the magnetron. It's a high voltage device that is located inside of your microwave and that's what produces the microwave energy that cooks your food. That normal buzzing or humming sound that you hear coming from your microwave is produced by the magnetron. If that sound increases in volume, you may suspect that the magnetron may be defective. Before you replace it, check the mounting bolts to make sure that they're tight and secure. And if that doesn't resolve your problem, you will need to replace it. Another source of noise in a microwave could be the cooling fan. The fan is used to cool the components of the high voltage section. If you hear a rattling sound in your microwave, the cooling fan could be at fault. Once you have the cabinet removed, check the fan blade on the shaft to make sure that it's tight and also the mounting screws. If the shaft of the motor is loose, you will need to replace it. Another component that may cause noise in your microwave could be the stirrer motor. The stirrer motor is typically located on the ceiling of the cavity and will have a small cover over top of it that can easily be removed to inspect that motor. Some microwaves use a stirrer motor to deflect the microwaves as they enter the cavity to evenly disperse them inside that cavity. If the blade on that motor becomes loose or damaged, you will get some noise and it'll need to be replaced. With the cover removed, you can check the fit of that blade to the motor shaft and also check the motor for any signs of wear and or damage and replace it if required. Need help with anything else around your home? Search our channel for thousands of helpful videos that will walk you through your home repairs. For more information or the parts needed for these repairs, don't forget to check out PartSelect.com. Thank you so much for watching this video and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss a thing.